When Roland Maurit debuted his skin-tight, form-flaunting galaxy dress in the mid-2000s, confident, body-positive women, from A-listers to royalty, were enchanted. One admirer was the now Princess of Wales, who, particularly when it comes to the red carpet, has been almost as loyal to Maurit as she is to Alessandra Rich, Alexander McQueen and Emilia Wickstead. But when it comes to Roland Maurit, a designer famed for making women's curves and contours look their best, she has occasionally been persuaded to flirt with risque fashion. Catherine recycles white Roland Maurit gown for Mandela Premier in London. Nothing could possibly top Catherine's tiara moment, but the Princess of Wales still looked royally gorgeous without her dazzling diamond crown at the London premiere of Mandela. Clad in a cream Roland Maurit gown with black pumps and a matching moor clutch, the new mom and husband Prince William waved to fans who gathered around the red carpet hoping to get a glimpse of the royal couple. As Kate is known to do, she opted for a dress she has previously worn. Just like when she donned the design to a private dinner back in May 2012, this time the new mom flaunted some serious leg thanks to the gown's thigh-high split. She also topped the gown with a $35 Zara crystal statement necklace, which was a lot more sparkle than the simple drop diamond earrings she wore. But the real surprise was that she opted to wear her hair back in a low ponytail which is quite rare for the princess who usually likes to keep her hair loose in her signature blowout style. In November 2018, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, debuted a new black dress with an asymmetric neckline for the Royal British Legion's Festival of Remembrance at the Royal Albert Hall. Two and a half years later, the princess wore it for Prince Philip's funeral at St George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle. Ditto the Maurit Nansen dress she wore to a 40th anniversary gala for Sports Aid in 2016, the royal blue gown featured Kate's preferred nipped-in waistline and striking shoulder cutouts. Perhaps the most daring piece in the Princess of Wales's red carpet wardrobe, the two-tone stretch Katie gown she wore to the 2022 premiere of box office smash Top Gun, Maverick, which featured a surprisingly seductive off-the-shoulder neckline. On July, Catherine debuted Roland Maurit's Cady dress at the Wimbledon men's finals. The Princess of Wales wore the garment in a vibrant emerald green hue. The dress is a signature of Roland Maurit's designs, featuring a ruffle detail on the bodice that adds a touch of femininity. Catherine is a fan of Roland Maurit's creations and has worn his designs on several occasions. On the second day of the Princess of Wales's US tour, Kate was spotted visiting Greentown Labs, a climate technology startup, in Somerville, Boston, in one of Maurit's more recent designs. An ultra-flattering wide-legged burgundy trouser suit, paired with a matching classic Chanel bag. Recently, she has been seen wearing his trousers and suits, in addition to his dresses. Catherine looked sharply dressed in a camel power suit at for a visit to a youth intervention charity on Tuesday. The Princess of Wales opted for a sophisticated blazer and wide leg trouser combo by Roland Maurit for a visit to Streets of Growth, an organization that works to transform the lives of young people. Once engaged with the charity, young people take courses and participate in creative programs. Topics include media and TV production, photography, crafting, furniture making, podcasting, nail art and vinyl printing. Kate got hands-on with one of Streets of Growth's workshops during her visit. She joined three young people in a mental health session styled like a podcast. The conversation delved into issues such as social media and body image. Kate has clearly entered her suit era. In recent months, the look has become the princess's go-to for public engagements. If she's not wearing a suit with tonal pumps, expect to see her in tailored trousers and a blazer. This camel ensemble proves that power dressing isn't just a trend for Kate. It's fast becoming her signature style.